and mighty ruler, the King of all. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Father, we are grateful for your love for us. We are grateful for your faithfulness. Thank you because you are alive. You change it not. Thank you because you have a good hope. You have wonderful heritage for us. Lord, we are that to speak to us at this hour. Inspire us. Encourage us, give us hope, even as the year runs to an end. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Take absolute control and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Brethren, you are welcome to the broadcast today again. We thank God for his faithfulness. We want you to please reach out your testimonies. You have been, if God has given you testimonies, you have, uh, uh, your prayers has been answered. Share with us through the redemption, television ministry, or even on WhatsApp or email as it is being shown, even on your screen. You can WhatsApp and share your testimony. Or send your prayer request. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, today, the Lord is saying there is hope for you. There is hope for you. Can you please tell yourself there is hope for me? There is hope for you. Hallelujah. Our text, Bible passage is from the book of Job. Job chapter 14, verse 7 through 9. Job chapter 14, from verse 7 through 9. And it reads, For there is hope for a tree, if it is cut down, it will sprout again and that its tender shoots will not cease. Though its root may grow old in the earth, and its stump may die in the ground, yet at the scent of water, it will bud and bring forth branches like a plant. Praise the name of the Lord. God said there is hope for a tree if it is cut down that it will sprout again, and that its tender shoot will not cease. There is, though its root may grow old in the earth, and its thumb may die in the ground, but what happens? At the scent of water, it will bud and bring forth branches like a plant. There is hope for you, brother. There is hope for you, sister. God says, what you are planning to do or what you have been doing might look because of situation and circumstances or the, what you are passing through. God said there is hope for you when there is a scent of water. When the word of God come, when prayers come, when you believe the word of God, when you believe his word, there is hope for you. Praise the name of the Lord. And if there is hope for you, then 
your testimony shall be fulfilled. Your visions and dreams shall be actualized. What you desire that God will do for you will definitely come to pass. That was the word of God through the mouth of Job. Praise the Lord. Let's read from the scriptures a testimony of a woman in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2. That is the thanksgiving of Hannah. The thanksgiving song of Anna. 1 Samuel chapter 2. You know, after the Lord visited Anna, and the Lord restored her, Hannah sang a song. And the song is written for us to see today. 1 Samuel chapter 2, from verse 2 through 10. We might not be able to finish it, but let's just start to read. That was after now she had her testimony. She gave birth to Samuel, and God blessed her with other children. And I read and sang, and I read. It says, talk no more so proudly. Let no arrogance come from your mouth. For the Lord is God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bow of the mighty men are broken, and those who stumble are guarded with strength. Are you stumbling? Are you weak? The Bible says you will be guarded with strength. The mighty men who trust in their chariots, in their horses, they will be ashamed. They will be defeated. Praise the name of the Lord. Those who are full, verse 5, those who are full have hired themselves out for bread. And those who are hungry have ceased to hunger because God has filled them. God has satisfied them. Even the barren is born seven. And she who has many children has become feeble. That was a song of Mama Anna. Today, you are the Anna. Whatsoever it is you are requesting or desiring of the Lord, even we answer you at this season in Jesus' name. The Lord is saying there is hope for you. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord kills and makes alive. He brings down to the graves and brings up. So God will lift you up. The Lord makes poor and make rich. He won't make you poor, but he will make you rich. He will make me rich. And then he brings down to the grave. The Lord makes poor and makes rich and brings low and lifts up. He raises the poor from the dust and leaves the beggar from the harsh heap to set them among princes and their princes and make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. He said, he will guard the feet of his saints. You will not stumble. You will not be ashamed as the year runs to an end. You will not stumble. You will not be defeated. You will not be ashamed. He said, he guard the feet of his saints. In all that you need to do for these few months that the year remains to end, God will guide and we guard your feet in the name of Jesus. He said, but the wicked shall be silent in darkness. It will cause your adversaries. It will cause the wicked to be silenced on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, for by strength no man shall prevail. Some people might be running elter skelter from January, February, and they have received their breakthroughs. And it looks like God has forgotten you. But let me let you know that God delayed does not mean he has, he has forgotten about you and does not mean he, that he has denied you. He's bringing testimony your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. In the book of Mark, chapter 5 from verse 1 through 20, there is a story of a man there. The man was heavily possessed. This man, being heavily possessed, could not even stay among 
the living. He was staying among the dead. And then, highly possessed. When they bind him, he tear them off. Everybody has given up hope concerning this man until Jesus Christ visited and saw the man. In fact, you know it was not the man. Jesus was going around and then this man was along the path of Jesus. And he saw Jesus. He cried out. It was not his people who brought him. It was destiny. It was divine purpose. It was divine plan. And then he cried out. Normally, he was among the mountains and in the tombs, crying out, cutting himself with stone, according to the scripture. In verse 6, the Bible says, But when he saw Jesus from afar off, a deranged man, a lunatic, when highly possessed, when he saw Jesus from afar off, the, 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 the demons in him, or let me say, there was sanity at that time. He cried out and said, What have you to do with us? Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High God. Then what happened? Jesus answered. Hope came for him. And God and, and Jesus Christ said, Come out of him, the unclean spirit. Thou unclean spirit. I decree everything that is not making you to fulfill purpose and plan. Destiny. Those forces of darkness, those principalities and power, they are coming out of you this season in Jesus' name. I'm saying again, there is hope for you. And so, this man eventually was made whole and he went following the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. This man was made whole and then he was made, he went about ministering. Because Jesus could not be allowed in that community again. But the, the man went about preaching the gospel, sharing his testimonies, and people listened. This season, they had thought hope has finished concerning you. Your family has lost hope about you. But let me let you realize, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, he said there is hope for you. From what we read in the book of Job, he said, a tree might die. The stump might be withered. The branches might got off. But when there is what? Water. When dampness come and there is scent of water, that tree will come alive. The branches will begin to grow again. The leaves will begin to bud again. Joy will begin to come in. The tree now will begin to have branches. Bells of the air will now begin to have next. A man also can eat from its fruit. That is what is going to happen to you. What you had gone through might look like hope was gone. But God is asking me to tell you, joy is coming your way. Joy is coming your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Testimony is coming your way in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 3, let's read verse 7 and 8. Verse 7 says, And the angel of the church in Philadelphia arrived. This thing says, He who is holy, he who is true, he who has a key of David, he who opens and no one shuts, and shut and no one open. I know your work, and I have said before you an open door, and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength, and have kept my word, I have not denied my name. God says your strength is small, but he is coming to help you. He said he has set an open door before you, that no one will be able to close it. He said he is the one who has the keys of David. He has the key of David, he will open, and nobody will be able to close and once it closed, nobody can close, nobody can open. So God is saying, I am opening doors for you. Will you receive it? Will you allow that door that God is saying is going to open for you? 
Will you receive it? Will you allow it to come to pass? Praise the name of the Lord. I am opening door, the two level doors, or the two level gates. I'm opening before you. No one will be able to do what? Will be able to close it. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 4, it says, But for him who is joined to all the living, are you joined to the living? Jesus Christ, the maker of heaven and the heart, the one that ruleth in the affairs of men. Say, and for him who is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. By the grace of God, you are after the order of the lion of the tribe of Judah. And so there is hope for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Since you are joined to the living, there is hope for you. There is a hope for a living dog compared to a dead lion. You are still alive. You still have Jesus. His word is still by you. His authority is still given unto you. And no evil shall befall you in the mighty name of Jesus. In Judges chapter 15, verse 14 through 19, there is a story about Samson when he was, he, he was to go and confront the enemy. And then uh, there was no water. But when the water comes, praise the Lord, when Samson received, maybe we should open to the book of Judges, let us read. When there was water, life came. When there was water, testimony came. Testimony is coming your way. Life is coming your way. Joy is coming your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Then when he came to lie, the Philistine came shouting against him. Then the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and the robe that was on his arm became like flags that is born with fire, and his bone broke loose from his hand. And he found a fresh jawbone of a donkey, and reached out his hand and took it, and killed a thousand men with it. And Samson said, with the jawbone of a donkey, heaps upon heaps, with the jawbone of a donkey, I have slain a thousand men. Praise the name of the Lord. And so it was when he had finished speaking that he threw the jawbone from his hand and called that place Ramat Lehi. Then he became very thirsty. So he cried out to the Lord and said, You have given this great deliverance. By the hand of your servant, and now shall I die of test and fall into the hand of the uncircumcised. So God split the hollow place that is in lay, and water came up, and he drank, and his spirit returned, and he revived. Therefore, he called its name En Hakor, which is in lay to this day, and he judged Israel 21. 20 years in the days of the Philistine. Praise the name of the Lord. What am I trying to bring forth here? There was victory that God had purpose for Samson. And then he was fighting. He was fighting. Now after a while, he became thirsty. If not that God showed mercy to him, with the jawbone of an ass, that he killed thousands. When he was thirsty and there was no water, that victory would have been turned toward to loss. But God had mercy upon Samson. That same God will cause you to have to receive mercy, to receive grace, to receive abundant testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. By the grace of God, this uh, message, there is hope for you, is going to be in two parts. Praise the name of the Lord. There is hope for you. And in the second part, by the grace of God, we will see how water is also compared to good news, to anointing, 
symbolic of divine touch and uh, other things. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, before this year runs out, your testimony shall come to fulfillment in the name of Jesus Christ. And so we will see how water is compared to, I mean, yeah, how water brings life, how water, you know, when you are thirsty, your thirst is quenched, and uh, how water also can be compared to the Holy Spirit, to the anointing. And the Bible makes us to understand it is freely given unto us. Well, the great thing that I want you to note, beloved, is just as in Genesis chapter 16, verse 1 to 4, how God gave the maid of Sarah the shocking uh, testimony of, of her life, you know. The maid of Hannah, had, uh, of Sarah, had written Sarah off. But the Lord visited Sarah as he had promised. Praise the name of the Lord. That same God is visiting you this season. That same God is saying your time is not up. That same God is saying oh there is hope for you. That same God is saying that the blessing that are meant for you shall come to fulfillment and shall be fulfilled. You know in Daniel chapter 3 verse 14 through 30 you know Meshach Abednego and Shadrach, the friend of, of Daniel, all hope was, was, was gone as far as they were concerned. But when the ancient of this came, their hope was restored. This season, before the end of this year, your hope will be restored in the name of Jesus. So, please stay in touch next week by the grace of God. The second session shall be completed, part two. And we'll see how we'll compare uh, hope, restoration to water, to anointing, and uh, the power of God. And there will be testimony. Shall we pray? Mighty and everlasting Father, we thank you for the word that you have brought forth for us today, that there is hope for us. Lord, your children, we have told them there is hope for them. As Anna's hope was restored, as Daniel and his friends hope, even when they were in the in in in, in the fundings, were restored. Lord God, Samson's hope was restored when you provided water to revive him. Lord, your people are tired. Please revive them, encourage them. Let there be a scent of water. Let there be testimony, and let there be restoration. Let, Lord God, their visions and dreams this year be fulfilled. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.